son. But I think you and your folks are going to like this place. Of all the hotels in the area, this was the finest hotel in the Sierra foothills. Now it's just the oldest. Honey, I'm going to try and find somebody to fix the car. Okay, honey, I hope it doesn't take too long. I'll call you when I know. Okay. <sighs> I guess we have no choice. I'm sure it's full of dust and mice. I wouldn't mind if you mice... your bags on the bed, Mrs. Gridley. Oh, it's a lucky thing these adjoining rooms were available. Yeah, well, I was hoping to spend the weekend in San Francisco, but... Thank you kindly, ma'am. Oh, do you need anything? Uh, just, uh, just ask for Matt. Uh, that's me. I do a little bit of everything around here. Keith, how about some lemonade? I could really go for an iced tea and we can wait for Daddy down in the dining room. Okay, just let me park my motorcycle. you've gotten yourself into. 
<sighs> Why didn't I listen to Mom? We must all search for food, but we have to be very careful, children, because the world is full of dangers, like owls that like to eat mice, and cats, too, that can sneak up on you before you know it. And there are traps baited with good things to eat. And we have to look out for poison, too. That's right, Susie. And that includes round white pills that look good to eat. They're helpful to humans, but poison to mice. That's what happened to your poor father. Well, I can take care of myself. And someday, I'm going to go down to the kitchen in the dining room and outside where there's seeds and berries. I'll find lots of food for us. No, Ralph. Your poor cousin Victor thought he could take care of himself, too. He jumped into a wastebasket because there was a sandwich in it, and he couldn't get out. He got dumped out with the trash and was never seen again. Fix that day after tomorrow. You could do it. Honey, if they don't have the part, they don't have the part. The day after tomorrow is the best they could do. I know, but Frank, another night in this place? My motorcycle. Somebody stole my motorcycle. No, nobody stole it. You probably just <laughs> forgot where you put it. No, it was right here. Honey, we can look for it in the morning. But right now, it's night, night. Put on your PJs and go to bed, okay? Okay. Good night. Good night. It's got to be here someplace. Wait a minute. The wastebasket. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, hey. What are you doing in there? Are you okay? Hey, did you... Ah, uh, you couldn't have... Couldn't have what? You can talk? Couldn't have what? Ridden my motorcycle off the nightstand. Well, I didn't exactly ride it off. I was coasting. The phone scared me and I fell. Hey, that's me. You riding my motorcycle, I mean. I wish I could ride one, so my mom won't let me. Even when I grow up. When I grow up, I'm gonna go exploring. Exotic, exciting places. All the way down to the first floor. And someday, I may even go outside. Not if you keep on finding a waste basket. Here, I'll let you out. Hey, where are you going? Uh, I'll let you sit on my motorcycle. Really? You mean it? Sure. And I'll even bring you something to eat. You mean food? Uh... uh. I'll take a peanut butter sandwich on rye bread. And uh, my sister and mother will have blueberry muffins with jelly on the side. Uh, I'll get them from the dining room in the morning. Yeah, our room personal room service. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're okay. So are you.